Okay, good day everyone. So today we're going to have a tutorial on how to create an interactive buttons in Macromage of Flash. So I will teach you how to create a play and stop button so that when you click the button, it will play the music and when I click the stop, it will stop the music. Okay, so for first is um, I colored this um, button red so that it will be intended for play button and then the blue one for stop button so first is we're going to have to uh, we're going to convert this button to a button symbol so i'm going to press f8 and then click button and then i'm going to name it as play and then just click ok double click the other button Okay, or object and then convert it again press f8 convert it to button and then name it as stop button then click ok and the next thing that you have to do is we're going to put some functions or interactions with the button by clicking the button inside so if i'm going to click the button automatic your timeline will gonna change Okay, so there are four states in the button symbol. Okay, the up, the over, down, and hit. But we'll be using only up, over, and down. So for the up, I will be using a... I want my button to have the play symbol na triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle like this and then close it and then make sure that the line is closed and then make sure that it is a line and uh, perfect triangle okay so now i'm going to color it black and then i'm going to put this here on top of the bottom Okay, so this will be my up state. Okay, the up state will be the my button when I play my animation. So it will appear on my stage. For the over, I'm going to insert the keyframe. So I'm going to press F6. So this time, I'm going to uh, put a text. Okay, the play word and then I'm going to put it here below there for the over so that when I put my mouse pointer on my button the play will appear so I'm going to click the scene one and then control enter so this is now my play button so if I'm going to put my mouse pointer automatic the play word will appear. If I'm going to remo uh, remove my mouse pointer, the play word will disappear. Okay? There. So it's not yet clickable. Okay? So if you want to be to play the music when you click the button, go back again to your timeline, button timeline, go to down, press F6, And then, okay, import a music. Any music will do. So import, import to the library, and then look for a music, and then import it in your library. Here. So I'm already has the music in my library. I can now drag it going to my button. Okay. So if you look at my timeline, I have already a line here. That means that the music is already in my down state. Okay, so I'm going to click the down state so that the synchronous here will appear. Okay, so you just have to change the sync, the sync to start. 
Okay, and then you're done. So you just go back to scene, scene one, and then let's go to the stop button. So let's go to stop button, double click. For the up state, I want my stop button to have a square, a black square at the center. Double click and then put it here. There. Okay. And then for my over button, over state, I'm going to add or insert keyframe. This time I'm going to add stop word. Okay, here. And then for the down state, I'm going to insert another keyframe. And for the down state, I'm going to drag again the music going to the bottom. Okay. So in order for you to manipulate the, the music, just click the down state and then go back to your property inspector, look for the sync, and then make sure that you change it to stop. Change it to stop, then go back to scene, scene one. So if I'm going to play my music, I just have to go to my button. So if I'm going to click play, So if I want to stop my music, I will just click the stop button. Okay, so that's how you um, create buttons with music interaction. Now, if you want to add a movie clip animation, simply go back to your timeline. Okay, go to your over and then look for the text. This is the text. Okay. Click the text and then convert this into movie clip symbol. Let's name it as play. Play MC. Then click OK. And now I'm going to create a an, an animation for my play word. Okay. So in order for me to create a an, an animation for my play, I just have to double click my play. So I'm going to enter again the timeline for my movie clip and then I can now create an animation. Okay? So I have to create motion twin, create motion twin and then insert keyframe. Okay? So on frame 15, I will just have to resize it so that um, it will have an animation there. So this is from frame 1. Press enter. So this will be my animation for my play. Okay. So I just have to go back to scene 1 and then enter now the stop button. Go to over. Okay. For the stop, convert this to movie clip F8. And then top MC. MC is stands for movie clip. Okay, so double click the top so that you will enter into movie clip timeline. Insert another keyframe again, but uh, I'm going to create motion twin. Insert keyframe, insert keyframe. And then for my stop, I will resize my stop button or stop word so that the animation will be like this there okay and i can also create an animation that it will move from left to right there so that will be the animation of my stop button so i'm go going back to the scene one and then i'm going to press control enter and then if I'm going to put my mouse pointer on my button, there will be an animation for the play and for my stop. Okay. So if I'm going to click play, the music will play. And if I'm going to click stop, the music should stop. So that's all for my tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. See you in my next video.